first thing that we were really concerned about was the fact that environmentally it could be a bad idea. It was kind of felt that it might have added something to the uh, tourism product, providing some added attraction. Everywhere that these exploiters of innocent dolphins have gone in the Caribbean, they've left a trail of devastation behind them. Dolphin Fantasies basically was the only company on the island to offer a swim with the dolphin program. We were all mortified about it. They also gave them permission to capture dolphins in our water. They were pretty uh, fly-by-night, if you ask me. They were just out to make a buck. Lumphead put out a call and tried to get an expert to come in to talk about the same dolphin situation. I was the last one on the plane, and somebody from American Airlines literally pulled me off the plane. It was declared persona non grata. We really didn't know how to go about challenging something this big. Dolphin fantasies were going against all of the provisions that were laid down in the treaty that was signed. And that is kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. There was near rioting on Antigua. A movement started against Dolphin Fantasies. It pays to, to speak up, to rise up against these things. We all in this together, so meet out on the Dolphinarium right now. They have some big, big plane up here, and they're loading the dolphins in the plane. They flew in two charter planes and took the dolphins out. They buckled up. 